Welcome, everybody, back to the Elder Scroll Skyrim. I realized, I guess, like a couple days ago, just randomly, like, holy smokes, I have got to pick up my playthrough on Skyrim because the Starfield is not that far away, and that game is going to completely consume me. But right now, we are doing Dampened Spirits, and we have to speak to Malice, Mace, Mace, Macus, Macius, whatever this guy's name is. Uh, so, I, man, I, I know we're playing Skyrim right now, but my, my it's hard for me to pay attention to anything but Starfield right now, because I'm so excited. I've seen so many videos, I've been looking everything up that I possibly can, but I'm still very much enjoying Skyrim. This is a great playthrough. I'm glad that I'm playing through this, but after that showcase, man. I'm going to keep this short, because we've got a lot to do. Haunting Brew's owner, Sabyarn, is about to hold a tasting for Whiterun's Captain of the Guard, and we're going to poison the mead. No, no, that's the beauty of the whole plan. We're going to get Sabyarn to give it to us. The meadery has quite a pest problem, and the whole city knows about it. Pest poison and mead don't mix well. Yeah, that doesn't mix very well at all, I'm sure. You're going to happen by and lend poor old Sabjorn a helping hand. He's going to give you the poison to use on the pests, but you're also going to dump it into the brewing vat. Maven and I spent weeks planning this. All we need is someone like you to get in there and get it done. Now get going before Sabjorn grows a brain and hires someone else to do the dirty work. Got it. You're supposed to be at the meadery. I was just asking a question. Dear Lord. Yes. I just... I have so many quests for this game that I have to complete. I have so many that I... I guess, obviously, that's an obvious statement, but just at this very moment, I have a pretty extensive list of quests. Okay, so we have to... And the good thing is we've already discovered this, so we can just fast travel straight to this location. Uh, but we are only level 10. I feel like a noob. But for being such a low level, we have accomplished so much already. What are you gawking at? Can't you see I have problems here? Are you kidding me? Look at this place. I'm supposed to be holding a tasting of the new hunting brew reserve for the captain of the guard. If he sees the meadery in this state... I'll be ruined. We can help with that. Oh, really? And I don't suppose you'd just do it out of the kindness of your heart, would you? I hope you're not expecting to get paid until the job's done. Uh, should we do persuade or intimidate? Well, that's we not can how just persuade. I operate, so forget it. Okay, okay. <laughs> no need to make rash decisions. Give me the payment now. Here's half. You get the rest when the job's done. My only demand is that these vermin are permanently eliminated before my reputation is completely destroyed. If this guy was a little friendlier, I may have done it whenever the job was done, but he's crossing his arms I and some poison. I was going to have my lazy good for nothing assistant Malice handle it, but he seems to have vanished. If you plant this in the vermin's nest, it should stop them from ever coming back. How convenient that... Don't come back until every one of those things are dead. How convenient your assistant is not in sight and I just now approach I've you. Got to clean up this mess. Okay, poison the nest, poison the hunting, hunting brew vat. Okay, I, I take it this is going to be locked. There's no way it's just going to let us... Yeah, okay. I guess we have to go back in the here. Okay. Ah, here we go. Okay.
Oh, but as always, I do... Oh, we got some skeevers over here. I want to take a second just again to thank everyone for joining me along this series. I, it, Skyrim is an incredible game to play. Any game is an incredible game to play, but for the most part. But when you have an audience and just you have the feeling of a group of people playing it and watching it with you, it just makes the experience so much better, man. I wish, I wish everyone had a streaming setup in front of them that they could just click record and make some videos and hang out and chill and play some games man because this is it, it's a lot of work to record and edit a video and play games and get it up on youtube make a thumbnail but it is such a rewarding experience it, it i mean it it's the same amount of work as a part-time job i feel like and it, it really is between editing and like I said, adding a thumbnail and making a title and a description and making a playlist and all that jazz. But once you get all that stuff set up, it's just so rewarding. Every little comment helps. Every little like helps. Every little subscriber helps so much. So again, I appreciate every single one of you that tunes in to watch it to watch my videos man it's it just makes it worth it what am i getting attacked by just makes everything worth it there we go all right so it looks like it's just yeah right up here Alright, let's go. What is Homeland? <laughs> he has an arrow going through his face. How are you even alive? As as bad as this is to say, there are some games like this that I want to play on the easiest difficulty, but not because just to make the game easy, but when you have someone, a normal human being, running at you with an arrow through his face, it makes you just like, come on. Really? That, that, that's not supposed to be there. And Skyrim and, you know, Elder Scrolls games, even though it's a video game and it's, it's a little fun and magical and there's like magical beast and all that. There's a little bit of realism to it as well. And when there is, like I said, an arrow or whatever going through someone's face, it kind of breaks the immersion just a little bit. Okay, I guess we have to get up on the second floor here. Whoop, there we go. Let's search for a few things while we're here. Ooh. Get my lock picking skills up a little bit. Here we go. Anything in here that we can take? All right, let's poison this bad boy. Return to Subjorn. We're back. I can't wait to see Sabjorn. Was something squirm. we dis Well, it's about time. I had to stall the captain until you were finished. You'll just have to wait until after the captain's finished. I suppose you can wait around if you must. Can that wait for him to see? Is he gonna like? Is he gonna die of poison? Well, Sabjorn, now that you've taken care of your little pest problem, how about I get a taste of some of your meat? Absolutely. Help yourself, my lord. It's my finest brew yet. I call it Hunting Brew Reserve. I think you'll find it quite pleasing. It's to gonna be wonderful. It. Oh, come now. This is mead, not some wine to be sipped and savored. So, is he gonna die from drinking it, or is he just going to? 
by the eight. What? What's in this? Just some rat poison. I don't know. What's wrong? You assured me this place was clean. I'll see. See to it that you remain in irons for the rest of your day. Oh, no. Please, I don't understand. Silence, idiot. You should have known that. <laughs> Trust this place after it's been riddled with filth. Was that a word that they used during this time period? Silence, idiot. Silence. You, you're in charge here until I can sort this all out. It will be my pleasure. Yeah, don't worry about it. You, you're coming with me to Dragon's Reach. I thought he was talking to me for a second. Memory clears in the city's prisons. Now, move. I'm just trying to have a drink. I assure you, this is all just a huge misunderstanding. I said, move. Farewell, Sabjorn. Farewell, he says. I don't think that could have gone any better. Anything else you need before you head back to Riften? I don't think so. I'm good. So, Maven wants to hunt down Sabjorn's private partner, huh? You're welcome to take a look around Sabjorn's office. He keeps most of his papers stashed in his desk. Here, this should help. A dresser key, okay. Start changing it over to the Blackbriar Meadery West as soon as possible. That was Maven's part of the deal. She's put me in charge of keeping the mead flowing, so that's exactly what I'm if you're in the area, and you ever need anything fenced, you just let me know. I appreciate that. Remember to put in a good. I kind of already have a fence though with the thieves guild. <coughs> okay, are we good? Oh, it's telling me to. I couldn't. I can't believe that worked. It's telling me to go upstairs, right? Turn to Maven Blackbriar. Let's go. Message to Sibby Blackbriar. I trust you have good news for me. I most certainly do. This doesn't tell me much. The only thing that could identify Sabjorn's partner is this odd little symbol. Well. Whoever this mysterious marking represents, they'll regret starting a war with me. You should bring this information to the Thieves' Guild immediately. There's also the matter of your payment. I believe you'll find this more than adequate for your services. An Orcish Sword of Absorption. This better be- I would rather get paid in gold. All right, we're back. Word on the street is that poor Sabjorn has found himself in White Run's prison. How unfortunate for him! Exactly. How unfortunate. Now you're beginning to see how our little system works. Maven sent word that you discovered something else while you were out there. Something important to the guild. Then this is beyond coincidence. First, Arangoth. And now Sabjorn. Someone's trying to take us down by driving a wedge between Maven and the guild. Mercer thinks he knows a way to identify this new thorn in our side. He wants to meet with you right away. And if I were you, I'd hurry. I've never seen him this angry before. No time Got for it. No chatter. Mercer is awaiting you. Speak presence. to Mercer Frey. I'm going. Oh, it's just right here. Okay. Ah, there you are. 
I've consulted my contacts regarding the information you recovered from Golden Glow Estate, but no one can identify that symbol. It would seem our adversary is attempting to take us apart indirectly by angering Maven Blackbriar. Very clever. Very clever. They're well funded, and they've been able to avoid identification for years. I'm impressed it reached this point. Just don't mistake my admiration for complacency. Our nemesis is going to pay dearly. Because even after all their posturing and planning, they've made a mistake. The parchment you recovered mentions a Gajal lie. According to my sources, that's an old alias used by one of our contacts. His real name is Gullamai. Gullamai is our inside man at the East Empire Company in Solitude. I'm betting he acted as a go-between for the sale of Golden Glow Estate and that he can finger our buyer. Get out there, shake him down, and see what you come up with. Talk to Brynjolf before you leave if you have any questions. I'll take care of it, boss. Right, let's go speak to this guy. The Winking Skeever. That doesn't sound like a place that I'd want to have a drink at. <laughs> that sounds like a little, uh... Uh, I won't get into it. Hello. So, what do we have here? Hmm. Let me guess. By your scent, I'd say you were from the guild. But that can't be true, because I told Mercer I wouldn't deal with them anymore. I don't deal in land or property. Now, if you're looking for goods, you've come to the right person. Oh, wait. Did you say Golden Glow Estate? Uh, my apologies. I'm sorry to say I know very little about that uh, bee farm, was it? Maybe I did, maybe I didn't. I can't be expected to remember every deal I handle. I don't care what you promise. If I tell you the buyer's name and word gets around, it could ruin me. Hasn't Mercer Frey taught you people anything? You kill me, and your only contact with the East Empire Company vanishes. That's not smart for business. Well, now that you mention it, there is something I've been trying to get my hands on. I have a buyer looking for a case of Firebrand wine that just so happens to be a single case in the Blue Palace. Bring it to me, and we'll talk about Golden Glow Estate. Down with Ulfric, the killer of King... Got it. I'll take care of it. Man, there is something about the music that is playing right now. This Skyrim music, man, it's just... The music, the wind, the the nature, the chatter amongst the, the civilians that live in these towns, it just makes this entire game so different compared to the rest, man. Sound design in this game is absolutely flawless. Like this little background music right now. It's just so freaking good. Well, this Ellen went furious. Big party. Okay. Excusez-moi.
Lydia. Get out of my way, please. So it's gotta be ba -ba -da -ba. So I'm kind of curious as you guys watch this, you know, I I, I want to know, you know, because I, I mentioned earlier in this video that it's I have a lot of fun having that feeling of like I'm playing a game with somebody else, you know, a, a group of people that I consistently am able to have an experience with, but. I'm kind of curious to see what your guys' Skyrim experience was. You know, like, when was the last time you played it? Did you enjoy it? Do you think it's worth the hype? You know, what character did you play as? Just curious about all that kind of stuff. This is an ode to Skyrim's staunch protectors. Ah, good. Can't have the buyer getting impatient and looking we elsewhere for this, can we? Here, take this. I certainly can't use it, but I suppose I need to pay you something for the goods. Not at all. I consider it an investment in prolonging my life. As far as Golden Glow Estate goes, I'll tell you what I know. I was approached by a woman who wanted me to act as the broker for something big. She flashed a bag of gold in my face and said all I had to do was pay Erangoth for the estate. I brought in the coin and walked away with her copy of the deed. Not at all. I tend not to ask too many questions when I'm on the job. I'm sure you understand. However, I did notice she was quite angry. That it was being directed at Mercer Frey. In this business, we rarely deal in names. Our identity comes from how much coin we carry. Drink and we'll sing. Look, that's all I know. I never promised you I'd have all the answers. Now, since our transaction is done, I'll be on my way. Will you? Get information, shadow him. Okay, I'm just gonna. Nope, I'm just gonna walk over here. Way. Not gonna worry about you. He's like mimicking my exact motion. Psych, we're gonna follow you. Okay, let's be sneaky. Let's be very, very quiet. Gotta make sure he doesn't know that we're following him. A coin or two for a veteran? It's not much to ask. Gotta be sure. What could it mean? The return of the Dragonborn? And who among us could possibly hold that honor? And such power? Gotta be very, very sneaky. Where is this guy going? This barrel will protect us. This barrel. All right, let's rock and roll. East Empire. Ooh, wait, we gotta pick this lock. Our lock picking is only level twenty-eight. Oh, come on. A little bit more. Oh, we're right there. There we go. Perfect. Perfect. Oh, whoa. Increase some of our skills here. I just, whenever I think of a, playing as a cat, I want, like, lock pickup. I want my sneak up. I want to be 
like an, a, a house cat, you know? A jungle cat. All the cats. I want to creep through the shadows and... Kill people. You didn't hear anything, I promise. Goodbye. Hopefully you didn't hear that. I doubt it. This guy's clueless. Now ain't this a surprise? Whoa! Get out of here, spider. Heal up a little bit. There we go. How does this do such little damage? Don't understand. Time to rock and roll, baby. Are we killing this guy? Or are we let's kill these people first. But is he gonna get away? I need to increase my destruction. Because this is not doing it.
no need to do anything rash. This isn't as bad as it seems. Oh, are we gonna kill this guy? Gonna tell Mercer about everything, honestly. Please, he'll have me killed. <clears throat> all right, all right. It's Carlia. Her name is Carlia. Look, did you want the information or not? Mercer never told you about her? Carlia is the thief responsible for murdering the previous guildmaster, Gallus. Now she's after Mercer. Help? No, no. Look, I didn't even know it was her until after she contacted me. Please. Yeah, yeah, you have yeah. To believe me. Likely story. Should we know. kill this guy? When I asked her where Should we she take was him going, out? She just muttered where the end began. Here, take the Golden Glow estate deed as proof. And when you speak to Mercer, tell him I'm worth more to him alive. Are you? Did Gullamai give up any information on our buyer? No, it, it can't be. I haven't heard that name in decades. This is grave news indeed. She's someone I hope to never cross paths with again. Carlia destroyed everything this guild stood for. She murdered my predecessor in cold blood and betrayed the guild. After we discovered what she'd done, we spent months trying to track her down, but she just vanished. Carlia and I were like partners. I went with her on every heist. We watched each other's backs. I know her techniques, her skills. If she kills me, there'll be no one left that could possibly catch her. If only we knew where she was. There's only one place that could be. The place where she murdered Gallus. A ruin called Snowvale Sanctum. We have to go out there before she disappears again. Yes, I'm going with you, and together we're going to kill her. Here's your payment for solitude. Prepare yourself and meet me at the ruins as soon as you can. We can't let her slip through our fingers. Got it. All right, quest completed. Sorry, lad. I've got important things to do. We'll speak another time. Okay, guys. So I think that meet Mercer Free outside Snowville Sanctum. I think that. Let's see. Hold on a second here. Let's go and grab Real this. Just plucked you off the street. Well, looks like you're fitting in well down here. I'm supposed to allow you to trade in one of your pieces of guild armor. So what will it be? Of course. Otherwise it wouldn't be much of a reward, now would it? Your new piece will enhance your skill beyond that of the original. Trust me. Uh, I think we should just do the actual the armor. It's the chest armor. What do you call this? I'm supposed. Of course, your new piece will enhance your skill beyond that of the original. Are you sure? Once I exchange it for you, I'm not taking it back. Yes, I feel like this would have the most benefits and the most armor. Let's do it. Right? Ugh, I'm okay, so okay. I'm so nervous. Like this is the this is a uh, option that we can't go back to. Okay. So, oh, put let's put some clothes back on. These 48, nice. 12 1300 basically for the value. 
Oh my goodness, man. Look at all of these quests that we have. And I know some of them are because we have the DLC as well, but I feel like we've also accomplished a lot in just 11 videos, man. We've we've accomplished a lot of quests. And with each video being as short as it is, I feel like we've we've been doing a great job knocking out these quests. Um, okay, so there's a few quest objectives. The so main quest, nine quests completed. We have a total of 10 or 20 quests that we've completed. That's almost two per video that we are completing. Uh, quest lines completed, zero. Daedra quest completed, zero. All right, so guys, I think this is going to be, en be the end of this video. Thank you so much for watching. Um, I'm going to, like I said, try to get this series. Skyrim is a big game. Let's, we all know it's a huge game. So I'm going to try to get this done before Starfield. There's a few other games that I want to get on this channel as well. But I, my goal is to have everything that I'm currently working on completed by the time, by the time, if I can speak, by the time Starfield comes out. But until the next one, thank you guys so much for watching. Peace out. I love you all.